But, um, yeah, in the previous games, um, Atlantis was a really big part of the storyline when it came to Legends and Underworld. One of the main bad guys was an Atlantean. Best laid plans. Follow the Mongolian path in search of signs. I can go this way. I want to know what's up here. Oh, it's just so I can climb. Oh, or not. He's passed through the lands of the Rus. I cannot shake the feeling that he's taunting me. Waiting until I'm a day's ride away before moving on. I will not be home before the winter as I hoped. I've stopped at a small village by a glassy lake they called Svetloyar. The prophet spoke here, and now the villagers refuse me lodging. I slept on the banks of the lake, where a young man bearing a crude version prophet's icon tried to kill me as I dozed. I made an example of him, and now the people fix me with the evil eye spit at me as I pass. I must move on soon. His sickness spreads. Okay, let's do... let's move away from that then. Uh, I'm really liking the ice theme of this game. Not a lot of games can do ice properly. And this Shit. one does. That's gonna be cold. But first... There's a thing. What's in it? Oh, I got a relic. An arrowhead carved from bone. This looks like Mongol craftsmanship. This was a whistling arrow. Mongol archers would fire these over their enemies to frighten and confuse them. Can we use those? Okay, so we have to swim through frozen water. Oh, I can translate Mongolian. Should I go back? No, 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 no. Oh, that would have been chilly. And we've got another relic. A paisa. A sort of passport. Whoever held this spoke with the authority of the Mongol Empire. It reads, By the power of eternal heaven and order of the Empire, whoever does not show respect will be guilty of an offense. That's nice. Okay, Lara, back in the water. We have a camp. <coughs> Blimey. Two skill points. Um... Yeah, we'll do that one. Now we're gonna have a look at the other ones. Uh, faster crafting of throwable objects, okay. Resourceful combatant, enemies killed or knocked out from a crafted handheld, yields more experience. Craft explosive bombs with red gas cans and deadly proximity mines. Nope. Avid learner. Uh, um, what's brawler? Just checking. Thick skinned. Iron hide. Less damage. Dodge counter. Incapacitate unarmed. Unarmed enemies with. Yeah, I think I need that one more than anything else at the moment. Or that one. No, we'll do this one. And I can upgrade the bow. Wrapped string. That works.
Alright then. Is there anything else I can look at in the water? No. Okay. Though there is that over there, a cache. Or something similar. Oh, I didn't see that one. That's gold. For a second there I thought that was moving. There's a tomb nearby. Is there really? Where? Down there. Okay. Oh wow. A Byzantine war galley. How the hell did it get down here? Let's look at that. Yes, please. Hmm. It's Mongolian. They passed through here. I must be close to the lost city. Solve ancient mysteries to earn extra valuable rewards. I think I will. Okay. Let's do it. Must be something up there. The ice ship. Wait. I'm sorry. I know there's stuff there, but I need this. It might be useful. Greek? The Maria Dula is trapped. The ice gave way. Her spine snapped in two. No matter. While I hope to wield her cannons against the false prophet, we will continue on foot. I have six of the Order of Trinity's best, and we have been stockpiling food and supplies while the sailors starved. They do not know it yet, but they will give their life for the cause. My men and I will find our way out of these icy caves and continue on foot. Before the ship was swallowed by the ice to the south, we heard music. That will be our first stop. But first I must rest. The cold has sunk into my bones, and I am drowsy. Just a little sleep. And then he never woke up again. Good for you, mate. Hold on. No, not yet. I need to break. That's what that thing's for. I need to break the ice with it. Meanwhile, the story is that way, guys. We shan't be much longer, I don't think. Oh, look at that. How lovely. It just dropped down and... That works. Got it. Now to find out what's up there. Oh, oh, oh. <coughs> Fucking hell, Lara. We'll try that again, shall we? You'd expect me to be able to jump onto the shields, but I guess not. <coughs> it's okay, we figured it out. 
No, I'm pretty sure this is the end of it. I doubt they'd give us, you know, a really big, massive tomb to start off with. It would just be something small like this. I uh, don't need to go that way. I need to go this way, Lara. Work with me. Look at that. Coins. Why were they carrying so much wealth with them? Um, who knows? I just want to... It's done. We'll die here. Thanks to Coraldus and the madness of the Order of Trinity. My ship will never see water again. We entered the glacial sea too far into the winter. Would have been turned back, but Coraldus would not abandon this lost prophet. He and his dead-eyed warriors seized control. He forced the ship through shallow tributaries until we could go no further. Then he made my crew construct sled runners, and the bastard forced us to tow the ship over land. It was death and excommunication to deny him. But it was death either way. I will make sure he dies here with us. I have always kept a little poison at the ready in case the ship was taken. Now it has another use. Ooh are ooh are. Right. And what's this one? This is the map, right? Yep, gives me a map with all the locations. I now have arrows, another cache. And here's the relic. It's a book. This codex details the archery techniques of the foes of the Byzantine Empire. Ancient abilities. Quickly shoot up to two successive arrows without delay of redrawing from the quiver. Rapid fire arrows by rapid fire arrows by quickly pressing and releasing. That's pretty cool. Got to admit that is pretty damn cool. Now is there no. Let's get out of here, guys. And continue on the path. Excellent. And just in time for a, a relic. Finding all sorts of shit today. A Byzantine brooch. The enamel work is beautiful. This portrait has been defaced. It looks like it was depicting the prophet. They must have had to be the eighth. Awesome. And now... <laughs> continue on through the tunnel. Can't be much further. He says as it opens up into a giant glacier. That had to be one of the sailors who ran off. Come on, underwater, Lara. There has to be something in there that was worth finding. And we are out. We are free. The Soviet installation. Hello, miss. I'm not your enemy. That remains to be seen. You killed those men back there. I killed them to survive. I suspect you did too. How long have they been here? Days, at most. 
The invaders took many of my people prisoner. You should leave this place before it's too late. I can't do that. I came here for something important. So did they. If I see you again, I'll put an arrow in your throat. You and I are on the same side. I hope I can prove that to you. Uh oh. What's going on down there? Let's go investigate. So, there are people who live out here, and they appear to have been here for a very long time, living in isolation for decades, maybe even centuries. I notice elements of her dress, small adornments that would not have been out of place in the Byzantine Empire. Could they possibly be descendants of the Prophet's people? How much do they know about the lost city or the divine source? It's clear Trinity will do anything to find out. I'm afraid that whoever they are, they're in grave danger. Let's hope the old proverb about the enemy of my enemy remains true. Let us indeed hope for that. Alright then. Before we head off, there was a thing over here. And then, now, we head off down the slope. 